without this, there is no way that I can take this canoe off. Oh. Oh, Let's put this on a hinge because I'm putting all my weight on. That's at least six feet high. You know, there's no way we're gonna lift that up and down. There's no way that's gonna happen. So this has to be like 110, 120 pounds. What I did was I made this pole. I made this part fit in here so it won't slide around. Pull that off and mount that on there. And then put this sucker, all right, like that. See that? This is all PVC. So it latches on here, latches on the, there, just elbow, uh, three way, and then just the piece over here. And it just fit it right in there. And then, so I just push it in like this, like that. So I tighten it like that. Okay, see, without this, there is no way that I can take this canoe off. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Some piece of. Okay, oh, oh. Good. And one, two, three, lift. All right, down, straight down. Okay, we're there. All right. Okay. We can't put it on this side, obviously. So I'll show you what I did. Took this block, cut it on an angle, and just screwed it in with another piece of wood on the inside. And the reason is when we roll it, you can see some of the wear, it would have just shredded this. That's what this is for. And then let me just walk you through. So, the first thing that I made was this. Okay, big piece. This is for the gas motor. This is for the trolling motor. Fishing pole holder. So all I did was this. I made this piece, right? And then I put a piece of oak right there. So I put the piece of oak and just bolted it together. So the two are being squeezed together. I did the same thing. I just took whatever wood I had and then I have underneath piece of wood Right, and then I just bolt it together. That's all I did. What I did was put this on a hinge because I'm putting all my weight on this. So I just go like that, it holds my weight no problem. I'm sitting about four inches off the ground, uh, off the bottom, and it feels great because when I sit on it, you know when you're crouched down like this for hours, it's very uncomfortable. So I get to sit on this Oh man, I should show you this other part. Hold on one second. Okay. So I got this. Bought it at a... Uh, I don't know where I bought it, really. It's got to be some cheap garage sale or something, maybe. So this is for a bleacher, right? So all I do is clip it. And so I can lean back. I guess it's safe to sit in this. And then I have this underneath for cushion. I got that from my uncle. So I'm like this, very comfortable throughout the whole fishing trip. So that's that. This one I'll show you on a different video because that'll take too long. And then I have, let me go through this. This is a uh, skag, I'll show you that later. And this is my, uh, well this is, you know what this is, right? So it's the same thing as this, same bolt on the bottom and top with these washers all stainless steel and then i put an edge on here because i got lures um anything you know it, it'll roll around so i don't want it to fall out so that's why i put these edges and then i have this this is a flagpole holder and what i did was i do this just like that Put a three quarter inch PVC. I put some foam on the inside. I'll just show you another video for that. So I put the foam on the inside and I just tighten it down. And what I can do is, oh, you got your camera going, right? Yeah. What I can do is just stick it in there while I'm in the water. 
and I have it fitting really tight. And the reason it's tight is so you can hear it. When the boat's rocking back and forth, it will go like this. So this is all from experience. So I put it really tight. This is the same one we used at the campsite. Nice and portable. Obviously, because we're in an element. Just like that, just like that, and he sits on there. No problem. But one thing is, when we hear waves, he's rocking back and forth. So it's a funny sight to see. So I'm looking around and I'm seeing it as I'm talking. So you can see over here, a fishbowl holder. And this is what we had. We had it here, I believe right there somewhere. And then I had two of them over here for me. And we took it out because it took too long to set up. I just drilled a hole <laughs> and put my fishing pole in there. And I put a piece of wood here. And when you put the pole in here, it won't go back, right? It'll stop. So I just made it easier. Less, less thing to wor worry about, less thing to work on. Remember one more thing, these things right here. So we had bungee go through here. And then, let me see if I can find a video later. And what we did is I had skirts, which we clipped on here. Um, and what are these? These are just rivets with wire clips. It's just regular. You just go to, I think we bought it at, we bought it at Lowe's. They were the only ones that had the right size that I needed. So we had this whole thing covered with skirt, canoe skirt, which we made because it was so odd. The shape was so odd. Oh, I should tell you one more thing. The reason I use this is because, first of all, we did a lot of kayaking in Apostle Island for about four or five years, I believe. We love the place. And we caught some salmon and trout, but you know, on a kayak, you can only do so much. So I did some modification, or no. First of all, we tried to register to go on the island with a canoe and they wouldn't let us. They said, no, it's too dangerous. And I understood why, right? The first two years, about three people died or drowned. And so when they said no, I, I wasn't gonna take that for an answer. I was ready to go fishing up there and, and uh, canoeing and stuff. So. I did some modification, put skirt on, put outriggers on, and I'll show you that at some point later. And I put the mount on here with the motor. And so I call back and say, hey, I did all these modifications. Could I go on the island? And they said, yes, you can. So that's why we did all this. And then after we did that, we fell in love with it. So we went kayaking maybe two or three times after that. And the rest of it has been just canoe, outrigger canoe. Because we, we have everything set up for this, for fishing mainly. So. Uh, let me go through that later sometime, sometime. And I have a bunch of other stuff. Outriggers, I went through three different modifications for outriggers and made a bunch of adjustments. You can tell I made a bunch of adjustments because you see holes. <laughs> That's what, those are the adjustments that I made. Holes in the back here too. Okay, I was just about to wrap up and Joe said, are you gonna talk about the sailboat? <laughs> and so <laughs> I totally forgot about that. So we did a bunch of stuff. I, ca I can't even remember them all. So you see these holes here. And one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to tear up any crucial part. And so I had a piece of wood here, hole in the center with braces on the bottom. And we had a sail going up. And this was at Apostle Island, wind was blowing. We clocked it over six miles an hour. Yeah, six miles an hour, at least six miles an hour before the battery died. I think we went faster than that. So it really cruises. If you want to see more content like this, I hope you'll like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.